Republican congressional opponent against Nancy Pelosi. His name is John Dennis. Good to see you, John. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Now, John, yesterday, uh, your opponent, Nancy Pelosi, uh, had a little speech. Let's take a look at this video and see what she had to say. What is your position right now on the ongoing scandal in the Veterans Health Administration? Any time that our, our men and women in uniform are not served in the manner which they deserve, you could perhaps call it a scandal. Whether it is a scandal with intention and the rest mm -hmm. of that, uh, the evidence remains to be seen. Democrats will run on saying that the Affordable Care Act is, a, uh, is really important for America's families. Well, of course, I wanted a single payer and I wanted a public option. John Dennis, your reaction to that? Well, there were a lot of people who thought that Obamacare was a Trojan horse for the single-payer system. And, um, and at least now we get confirmation from Ms. Pelosi. The, the, the interesting thing is, is to see what's happened in single-payer system countries around the world. And they look remarkably like the kind of services that people are getting from the Veterans Administration. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So it's, it's kind of a, what message does that send to you? Well, uh, first of all, Ms. Pelosi never, never uh, doesn't perform for me. She always, uh, you know, follow, comes through with something uh, preposterous and absurd. And uh, at least, at least for the first time, we are seeing what she truly believes, what she's really fighting for, which is a, you know, government-dominated country. All right. So you, you live in liberally, do liberal-dominated San Francisco Bay Area. I mean, we, it's, it's, you know, we all know what, what the what the uh, culture is there in terms yeah. of political ideology. Uh, you're a former chairman of the Republican Liberty Caucus of California. Uh -huh. Now, are you running as a libertarian or as a Republican? So uh, I'm, I'm actually uh, what I refer to as a liberty-driven Republican or a pro-liberty Republican in the Republican okay. Party and sort of the tradition of Barry Goldwater and Ron Paul. And, and that. You have the, uh, you have the, uh, uh, the support of, of Barry Goldwater Jr. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how about from Ron Paul and Cindy Sheehan? I've, I've heard some rumblings on that. Right, so in 2010, Cindy Sheehan, uh, surprisingly, was very supportive of my campaign. I also was endorsed by the former uh, Green Party vice presidential candidate, Matt Gonzalez, who was the Board of Supervisors president in San Francisco. Ron Paul's endorsed me, and then recently Rand Paul endorsed me as well. That's a big endorsement. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we had him out in uh, San Francisco and, uh, I've, and I've, helped him. I have said a few times on this show what's remarkable about Rand Paul is he got a standing ovation at CPAC, right. the conservative political you know, uh, event, a week later got a standing ovation at Berkeley. Right. That's, that's remarkable. I mean, that's a big deal. Uh, that, that's not just playing the crowd. I mean, he, he's apparently crossing over. Yeah, absolutely. And, if you, and so you're asking me what part of the party am I? That's the part of the, I'm the libertarian wing of the Republican Party and trying to get beyond sort of the left-right fight to focus on resolving issues. Now this, you know, for our viewers who are not in California, uh, the, uh, California has a primary where top two vote getters, right. it's not Republican and Democratic primaries, right. top two vote getters. Um, how's the campaign going? Do you anticipate coming in the top two? Yeah, I think so. We, we were, I run against Ms. Pelosi before and in 2012 we, we prevailed and we were the only, uh, the only two choices on the ballot in November of 2012 were Nancy Pelosi and, and me and then I, think, I suspect that will be the case this time around. You are an entrepreneur? Yes. And does that go in the same sentence as San Francisco? Oh, sh I'm yeah, joking. sure. I do, you know, do most of my entrepreneuring outside of San Francisco. Um, would you say it's not a business-friendly area? Uh, well, yeah, if you include, uh, you know, fighting businesses at every step of the way is not being business friendly, yeah, I'd say that. All right, I'd like to ask you some lightning round questions. Sure. Um, just, you know, to try and keep your answers brief, you know, three or four words if you could. Sure. Uh, where are you on uh, illegal immigrant amnesty that uh, the GOP is currently getting behind? No amnesty, uh, but I would like to see us somehow resolve the status of the people who are here. All right, some, some, some sort of pathway to, to, to citizenship? Or mm, pathway to legality. To I legality, think. yeah. Okay, all right. Um, what are term limits for elected officials? Well, in, in principle, in theory, I sort of like them, but I, I see that we have term limits in California, and how's that worked out for us? Not very well, I Yeah, understand. so, I mean, the idea of, of, of cutting off people's time that they serve uh, in, uh, in a legislature or so, an office seems good on, on the surface, but in practicality, I don't think it works. Uh, you know, some say system. founding fathers put in term limits with the, the two-year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you're an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you're a businessman, real estate investor, as I understand. That's right. Uh, where do you stand on a flat or a fair tax? Well, I'm for no tax. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of taxation in general. But we have to have taxes. 
Mm, I, maybe I think that in the worst, the, probably the least, of, um, the least of the best of the worst choices would be to go with a consumption tax. I'm not a big fan of income taxes. It sort of makes suspects out of all the you're, so you're referring in America. You're, you're yeah. referring it as a federal level or state level? Uh, any level. Any level. I think consumption tax is a better way to go. Um, but I, 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 like, I, I like voluntary relationships, and so that's what I'd really like to see us driving towards. Sure. I, 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 I like the idea of a, of a, of a consumption tax. Yeah. Um, final question. Common core in our nation's schools. Seems like the establishments behind it, both Republican and Democratic, grassroots are not happy with it. What do you stand on that? Well, I look at Article 1, Section 8. That's the enumerated powers clause of the Constitution. And I don't see any uh, authorization for the federal government to get involved in education. So I'd say not only should we not have Common Core, but we shouldn't have a Department of Education as well. I am suspicious as to why the GOP establishment and the Democratic establishment are so gung-ho on Common Core. Yeah. Uh, it's like, why has that become a special issue? I think they right. may be doubling down on no child left behind. Uh, all right. Now, you don't have to live in California. You don't have to live in your district to uh, support you. If our viewers want to learn more about John Dennis, the opponent of Nancy Pelosi. Where can they go? John Dennis for Congress.com. All right. Well, we'll keep an eye on that race. Thanks so much. Uh, the primary is coming up. June 3rd. All right.